bit of overwintered. And uh, it smelled fabulous, especially uh, it smelled like some strong chives. And I'm not sure when we can crop them. I might just dig one up and see what it looks like. Here we go. Hold your breath. Oh, it doesn't want to come up. It's got deep roots. I should be using a fork for this. Well, actually, I'm damaging the plant. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's all swathed and squishy. So I suspect what we'll have to do is leave these in the ground for a few weeks and they'll fill out and harden up, I'm hoping, and that we'll one day we'll have a half decent onion. But at the moment, you wouldn't want to eat this. It's looks, it smells great, but uh, I've got dirt on my nose. It smells great, but it um, it's not, it's all squishy, look. So, I'm definitely a, a gardener who learns as I go along. Um, I'm not very good at reading up on how to do things. I sort of stick things in the ground and see if they work. Um, and some years I get lucky, <laughs> some years I don't. This might be a failed experiment, it might come good in the end, who knows? Well, I'm just gonna leave them for now and uh, see where we end up. Uh, we've got some more onions over there which we could have a look at. Um, this was two solid rows of leeks and as you can see, we spent all last summer, last fall, going right into the winter, eating a ton of leeks. We use them almost like onions, so uh, they have great flavor and uh, we love them. And we make a lot of leek soup and we put leeks in things to bring additional flavor. And it's a really good, easy thing to grow. We seem to grow very well here. Um, so we're happy to have them. Um, you can order them from, you can order them from the seed companies, uh, Johnny's, we tend to use Johnny's seed company. Uh, and they send you these little, sweet little leeks. They're about four inches long, and they're in little bundles. And uh, you order them, and they send them in a, in like in a little box. And you have to get them out pretty quickly because they will rot inside the box. So as soon as they arrive, you take them out. You've got your bed prepared. And I use a, a little screwdriver or a skewer or something, and make a little hole and just drop it in, almost till it's um, you, you can't see the top. It's just the very top that you leave uncovered. And uh, Da -da -da, this is the result. I mean, they, they, they look they look pretty horrible now because they've been through the winter, but they taste great. And uh, this is the end of last year, so it's been a, it's been a good investment. Um, let's go and look at the asparagus.